Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new app from the CDC. We've reviewed a number of CDC apps on iMedical Apps. We've always been very happy with the product they have created. This latest edition has been one I've been looking forward to a long time. This is their CDC Opioid Prescribing Guideline 2016. You may recall last March the CDC released their guideline after it had been posted for several months for review. That draft guideline, as well as the final version, did get quite a bit of pushback from some groups and stirred up some controversy. But for most of us in primary care, the guideline was very helpful. It gave us some rules to live by when it comes to prescribing opioids in a safe way. As you can see from the overview here, the opioid epidemic is continued to spiral somewhat out of control with more deaths now than we could have imagined 10 or 15 years ago. As you can see, the app is divided into the overview, a calculator, the guideline itself, motivational interviewing, and a glossary. You can jump around through different sections. There's an about for the guideline. There's numerous resources. These are embedded in the different sections of the app, but they're also available here separately. They do require internet connection, but they're all very helpful. And you can pinch to Zoom, open an iBook, save them to your device, etc. Let's take a look at the overview section. Again, just some background about the opioid epidemic. Has some links, again, straight to the quick links of the guideline. You also can get to the entire guideline via the CDC website. Again, this requires an internet connection. If we go again to the guideline, it's broken down into key recommendations. So, for example, use the lowest opioid dose, gives you some information about what to aim for, ideally under 50, avoid above 90, some key points to discuss with patients and colleagues, additional information, which is just the blown up section of the guideline online, calculating the fact sheet, tapering guide, and again, you can see these are very fast if you've got a good internet connection. And a hot link again to the calculator, which is pretty handy to use. So, for example, if we have a patient who is taking, we'll say, oxycodone and is taking four tablets a day at a five milligram dosage, add that in, that's 30 milligrams or morphine equivalent. That keeps us under the 50, but let's say the patient's also taking methadone and is taking 30 milligrams of methadone. Well, as you can see, that's a huge dose, which would create all kinds of red flags. Obviously, probably not a realistic dose, so you can edit that down to say maybe it's only 10 which is still in the yellow zone on the guideline because 10 milligrams of methadone is the equivalent of 40 morphine equivalents. If you move on into the motivational interviewing section, you can see some basics about what motivational interviewing is. has a nice overview, kind of a 101 of how to do it. Uh, if you look through some of my other reviews, I've talked a lot about motivational interviewing and there are a number of apps out there on how to do this effectively. But the CDC has done a nice job of giving you some keywords to use and a number of excellent resources that, again, are hyperlinked within the app that takes you to those resources. What's also neat is they have kind of a mock interview where they have a sample patient and you have to choose how you would respond based on what the patient says. And you've kind of got two choices. You can say answer one. The patient gives a response. What would you say to that? You'd use that choice. And you just kind of keep going until it sort of tells you you've done a good job or not. It'd be nice if there were a few more situ situations or scenarios to go through. Some of the resources 
uh, do involve videos, but they're not built into the app. Then if you look at the glossary here, it talks about the morphine milligram equivalents per day, what that means, what is the definition of an opioid use disorder. Some pretty basic definitions, but they use a lot of abbreviations throughout the guidelines, so it's nice to see them separately defined here for you. So some things I liked about this, uh, I think the interface is very easy to use. It's divided across the bottom. You also have this section here to jump around. Uh, within each section, you can easily get from one area to the other. I found that very quick and effective. There's all this new information from the guideline. It's baked into the app based on key recommendations, which is a very handy way to break down a very long guideline into a easy to digest app. The PDFs and references you can get all throughout the guideline, including this handy resource area. It does require an internet connection, however, for those. It's also available for Android, which is nice to see for a change. Some things I didn't like about this app, the calculator uh, is not as fancy as some other ones we've reviewed you can read my review for some other ones that we've taken a look at on iMedical apps and found to be outstanding. This, however, gets the job done for a patient in front of you to find out how many morphine milligram equivalents they are taking. The PDFs, as we've already shown you, would be even better if they were baked into the app and didn't require an internet connection, but it's not a deal breaker by any means. In the motivational interviewing section, as I pointed out, could benefit from a few more examples or even better explanations as to why one answer might be better than the other. So that's my look at the CDC Opioid Guideline 2016 app review. I think it's a must-have for all of us in primary care or anyone who prescribes opioids to patients.